All right, we'll get back to this flight in just a minute, but first let's take a look at the actual drone that I'm flying here and the rates that are making it fly like this. This is the iFlight Nazgul Evoke 6S Deadcat version. You can see the Deadcat frame on the bottom. For a camera, I have a GoPro Hero 11 Black Mini attached. And for a battery, I've got the Ovonic 6S 1300 milliamp hour LiPo. That's a pretty heavy battery, and the GoPro is a pretty heavy camera, despite being mini. So altogether, this drone is carrying a lot of weight, and the drone itself is pretty heavy. So keep that in mind as I'm whipping this thing around that it's doing it with all of that weight. So let's take a look at the rates now to see how this drone is set up. To take a look at the rates, we're going to need to head over to the PID tuning tab. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth with any of this. I'm just going to kind of show you what the rates are. Now, keep in mind, these rates did come factory. This was a bind and fly drone that I purchased from Race Day Quads. And it's from iFlight, so this is just their default tunings for this specific quad, the iFlight Nazgul Evoke 6S Deadcat version. Now, to see the exact rates that I'm kind of referring to would be more specifically the max rates. So for roll, pitch, and yaw, set to 900, all three of those. Meaning if I max out roll or pitch or yaw on my you know, RC, it's going to be rotating and moving that way 900 degrees per second. Now, that's much higher than what I would say and what I've seen most people set their max rates at. Typically, I've seen anywhere in the neighborhood of five, six hundred maybe. It kind of depends on how people are flying their drones, but 900 is, is pretty extreme. As you're going to see when I get this thing up into the air, that when you max out you know, your roll with a 900 degree per second rate as the max, it's pretty intense. Um, so I'll let you kind of see that for yourself. And I'm not going to adjust any of this in this video. That's not the purpose. I just wanted you to get a chance to see what really kind of go on crazy with these rates does to the flight characteristics of an FPV drone. So there we go. Those rates are a little bit aggressive. Um, you saw that the rolls there and the flips, um, I didn't speed any of that footage up. So it is just, you know, keep in mind, I was pushing the stick the entire way into those maneuvers. So it's not like, you know, you just kind of gently nudge the stick and it does that. You do have to go to the full extreme of, you know, what the uh, gimbal is able to do. So I think I'm going to be dialing some of that back because I can't really think of any kinds of practical use case for any kind of rates like that. 
other than, you know, getting dizzy and maybe feeling a little bit of uh, nausea while flying. So we're going to take another look and dial some of those things back just to kind of ease up the aggression a bit. But that's, that's what some intense rates look like if you haven't really seen what they look like and how it affects, you know, the maneuverability of a drone and how quickly you can go into those kinds of movements. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you that today. If you have any questions or want to see anything else, throw some comments down below. If you like the video, please consider liking it and subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of other new stuff coming down the pike and I'm excited to see what um, comes next. So thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.